Hello everyone, we will continue our change request for sales order report and in the previous video, we converted the column select in the form of checkbox. Then we make that particular column editable also because we are unable to select the checkboxes. Now we will proceed from here and so many important points will come. Suppose I will run this particular report. Now I will just go to execute. As of now, what is happening? What was the previous requirement? Whenever I will go for smart form or Adobe form, whatever that data is there, it will display or it will go to print in the Adobe form or smart form. Now, customer want that he or customer can change the rows. Miss, rather than good all rather than all rows should go to print customer can send the selected rows to the print customer can send the selected rows for the print how we can achieve that suppose i am selecting first row and fourth row if customer will click on to smart form or adobe form so only these two rows should appear in the smart form or Adobe form. This is our requirement. Now, firstly, I will show you in the debugging mode. We will understand and then we will write the logic for the same. Most, most important point and so many people ask that we are not getting this, how we can achieve this requirement. Suppose I am putting a breakpoint in user card. I am running. I will give some input. This point is extremely important, which we are covering now. Suppose I am selecting first row and third row. I am clicking on to this button. Whenever I will click on to this button, we all know user command will call because user gave some action. What is your internal table? In this internal table, you have this data. Your data is in this internal table, LT underscore final. If I will double click on to this, we have how many columns? Seven columns. Okay. You selected which row? You selected first row and you selected third row. You selected first row and you selected third row. Ideally, what should be the case? You selected a row. It means the value of first and third row will be capital X and value of second and fourth row will be space. That is our recognizing factor. If we selected something, if we selected these two rows, it means SAP should recognize first and third row is capital X and second and fourth will be space. Suppose I'm just going to execute. I'll go to back again. Suppose I'm selecting only first row. It means customer want to send this first row for the print. I'm clicking on to this button. Again, user command called now I selected the first row, but still system is not recognizing for all the rows value is space. Now the question comes, if system is not recognizing as of now X, whatever I'm selecting. So how, how I will get the result now? This is the important point here. We are going for changes in the ALV output. We displayed the ALV output. Suppose if we will go for understanding, we displayed the ALV output. After that, you are selecting the rows. It means we are doing some changes with the ALV output. Yes, we are selecting something, but system is not recognizing that particular thing we need to enable one proper.
property. Once we enable that particular thing, system will recognize, yes, but you system will understand that you are going for some changes in the ALV output. So it will return you the updated, updated result of the ALV output. Extremely, extremely important point. Yes, if we will not set that, system will not recognize that you are going for some updation in the ALV output. So how we will do that? We have this grid display function module. Grid display function module. Now we have a parameter here. I underscore grid settings. I will make this particular parameter as I will uncomment this particular parameter. Here I will write LWA underscore grid underscore settings. You are selecting the rows in the ALV output. It means you are going for updation in the ALV output, but system is not recognizing those things. So if we want the ALV to recognize whatever we are doing in the ALV output, so you need to uncomment this parameter I underscore grid settings. In front of this, I declared LWA underscore grid underscore settings. Now, the type of this will be same as that of I underscore grid settings. Here it is exporting. It means in the function module, it will be importing. I underscore grid setting is of this type. So I will copy into my program and I will declare. I will write LWA grid settings type. This is a structure type. I will just save into transport request. This is a structure type, structure type. It is not a table type. It's a structure type. That's why I declared it as work area. Now, in this particular structure, I will go for the column. Have you seen? We have a column, edit CLL underscore CB. I will simply, simply pass it to capital X and just see description itself is very, very recognizing. You are editing. So system is taking a call back. System is taking a call back that yes, it should recognize that whatever we are selecting in the ALB output. This simple. We simply displayed the ALB grid. After that, whatever we are doing in that ALV grid, we are selecting the rows. System is not recognizing. So what we did, we simply uncommented the parameter grid settings. And grid setting is of this type. So we will set this particular component to capital X. And it is clearly saying yes. It will recognize now whenever I will set it to capital X, system will recognize each and everything, whatever I'm doing with the ALV output. So what I will do, I'll simply, simply pass it to capital X. Extremely, extremely important point. And I put, I put so much stress on this because so many times this questions will come. Now I will write LWA underscore grid underscore settings hyphen edit cell CB. I will put it to capital X. Capital X means true. If we do not have the editable ALB, no problem. Till that point, it worked. 
now we have a editable alb if you want system to recognize you need to set this particular column to capital x now we will see i'll just show you in the alv i will show you in the debugging mode sorry i'll just firstly run now we are passing iwa grid setting to capital x if you see we put capital x now suppose i am selecting first and fourth row we are doing some changes we are editing the rows in the alv output so in now if i will click on to this button now system will recognize system will recognize if you see if i will show you id underscore final now you can see first and fourth row is capital x suppose i can now change also suppose now i am suppose only selecting first and second row it might be the case customer can go for multiple times so it will recognize now first and second is capital x suppose customer can deselect everything now if i will go for this now you can see everything is space so this is the way how you can do this particular thing so what is the summary of the video in this video yes firstly when we selected the rows system is not recognizing that we selected the rows so what we did we have a parameter i underscore grid settings i underscore grid setting we have a particular column edit underscore cll underscore cb we put it to capital x and after that whatever the rows we are selecting the value of the value of the column select is capital x yes because you are editing the alv first time you are not editing so after that you are editing the alv so how system will recognize the updated values you need to set it to capital x in the next video we will write the logic how we can send the selected rows to the smart form and adobe form so that's it in this video thank you